Imagine a mind that sees without words, plays without syllables, and manipulates its world using nothing but fatter and big. Today, we explore Shaq to the anthropocentric paradigm. We sublined intellect of crows, masters of instinct, strategy, and an almost alien ingenuity. In classical Western thought, animals were relegated to the realm of instinct, automatons driven by reflex, devoid of abstract cognition. The lion chases, the ant gathers and crow. Well, the crow was once dismissed as the mere scavenger, yet the burgeoning field of animal mind ethics unmasks a diversity of cognitive states across species. Intelligence is not the monolith measured solely in narrow counts. It is a spectrum of capacities, problem solving, planning, social manipulation, manifesting in forms both familiar and uncanny. Enter the new called Daniel Crow, an artisan of tools. These veins fashion hooks and props from wings, bark every human detritus, wire and plastic, fashioning multi-step contraptions to extract hidden grooms and nectar. In one iconic experiment, researchers presented a crow with a vertical tube too narrow for its back, containing a morsel. The bird crafted a hook tool, inserted it, extracted the thread, no prompting, no trial by error, requiring thousands of attempts. This is insightful problem solving, not mere operant conditioning. Philosophically, this compels us to revisit unconscious reasoning. If a creature without language can invent a tool, anticipate its function, and execute a plan. We must expand our definitions of thought beyond the Cartesian theater of the mind. Let's us venture further into the arcane panpsychism. We view that consciousness or proto-consciousness is a fundamental feature of the universe. Of mind is woven into the fabric of matter when perhaps the corvette brain is not an outlier, but a visible knot in a cosmic tapestry. Crowds demonstrate that intelligence need not be incensored in a neocortex or a thalamocortical loop. It can emerge in networks of neurons configured in vein ecologies. Then a crow uses a curved leaf to fish when it catches food with deceptive decoys. It gestures toward a continuum of cognition, one that flows from single cell organisms to cephalopods to birds to primates. Each organism expresses its niche of intelligence and in crows that expression is a masterclass in adaptability, creativity and even social cunning. Philosophy provokes wonder, science grounds it, let's dissect the crows cognitive toolkit. First of all, problem solving and tool use. New Celadonia crows, these corvettes sculpt and employ tools crafted from neural materials, twings sharpened into hooks chipped from leaves to extract insect larvae from crevice. In progressive tasks, they demonstrate sequential tool use, selecting a short tool, using it to retrieve a longer one, then using that to extract the reward. This isn't trial and error, it's hierarchical planning, a cognitive leap once thought exclusive to primates. Future planning and theory of mind, catching strategies, crow stash, food in, numerous concealed locations, remembering hundreds of catch sites weeks later beyond simple memory and employ deceptive tactics, recatching in new spots if observed, creating decoy catches to mislead competitors. Such behaviors imply the ability to model other minds, knowledge, theory of mind, and to forecast future conditions. Social learning and cultural transmission. Corvette cultures. Studies reveal geographic variation in tool techniques and forging traditions, distinct local dialects of crow culture. Juveniles learn from elders, refining methods across generations. This cultural evolution parallels aspects of human society and complicates rigid species boundaries. When a juvenile emulates the precise angle of a parent's twin handle, it is not instinct, it is imitation, teaching and innovation intersecting in flight. On a hike, I witnessed a crow confronted with a large milk biscuit, too bulky 
to carry in one go instead of abandoning it. The bird meticulously chipped age of prying small fragments that fit comfortably in its beak. This tri-level strategy reveals transporting efficiency. Smaller pieces reduce carry weight, allowing rapid flight to a safe perch. Time optimization in a predator-dense environment, swift retrieval and consumption tramp, prolonged extraction, energy maximization, fragmented bites are easier to consume to digest, delivering quick energy in lean conditions. This wignet exemplifies situated intelligence. The crow rapidly assesses risk, debunking human exceptionalism. Crafts dismantle and myth of human all intelligence. If we want so animals as mindless matter, now we see them as cognitive companions, beings whose moral standing demands revaluation of animal welfare and ecosystem stewardship, redefining intelligence and consciousness, their planning, deceit and tool craft invalidate unconscious reflex expectations. Intelligence is a dynamic interplay of neural architecture. Environmental feedback and social transmission reminding us that mind is as much scaffolded by culture as by biology. To respect crow intelligence is to acknowledge a continuum of mind, one that birds as to our neural kin, urging ethical obligations to habitat protection and species coexistence. How can we deepen our dialogue with corvettes and apply these insights? Citizen science and field projects equipped enthusiasts with video and audio recorded to document individual crow behaviors, cataloging regional variations in tool used as calls, urban ecology studies, investigate how city dwelling crows exploit human-made niches, uncovering their methods to access concealed waste or traffic-generated food sources, additional workshop, host crow cognition labs in schools and festivals promoting animal mind ethics and habitat advocacy through interactive demonstrations. This fusion of research and outreach transforms passive observation into a collaborative exploration, a symbiotic exchange of curiosity and stewardship. Crows are not mere trash birds, they are masters of mind, architects of culture and living testaments of intelligence writ in fetters. That humble milk biscuit episode was an evolutionary ballad of risk, reverse memory and innovation, a microcosm of survival calculus. As we expand our empathy and understanding, we blur the lines between us and them. Respect their genius, support habitat conservation, share your own crow, encounters below and tag your videos, hashtag correlate cognition, subscribe for more cosmic mind shapes. Until then, keep questioning, keep observing and never underestimate the mind behind the fatter. <laughs>